Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. I have here in the shop today 2014 Toyota Benza. She has 99,000 miles on the clock and came for engine oil and a rear brake job. And she's a real beauty, isn't she? I wonder why Toyota stopped making them. I don't know. So when she came, the maintenance light was not on yet, but there was a warning tire pressure light. Let me light it for you. It's on the bottom. Do you see the one on the bottom? That was steady on. I already adjusted pressures. And as you can see, the system reset itself. I still have to reset that maintenance light. That will be later. When you have that tire pressure light on, what is the first thing you need to do? Obviously, it tells you that possibly in one of the tires or more of them, the pressure, the air pressure is low. So this one should have 32 PSI. So I went around and topped all the wheels to the 32 PSI. This Venza, it's a modern vehicle. She resets the tire pressure herself. So I didn't even go and look inside. I had a feeling, mm, I have a time. This is a friend's vehicle. It's a young lady driving it. I better go check all the tires when I have it in the air on the lift and sure enough you can see my little mark which I made for them not only the tire pressures were low in multiple wheels which could just tell you oh I'm good look what I have found in the rear passenger side so I was moving it around and unfortunately I found Philips screw in the tire. You see, you might not see it right away, but here we go. It's nice and flush with the fret, as you can see, and it's very unfortunate that was sitting somewhere on the road and it ended up in their tires. I believe this is completely repairable by the tire shop because it's far away from the wall which could be a limit for the repair. If it was somewhere here I believe they refuse to fix it and they say you need a new tire but if it's right here it should be all good. So look at that little bugger just because I had a feeling that it wasn't just the pressures of course I went all around, I spun all of them and I didn't see more Phillips screws in the tire. This one has a very slow leak. These things don't mean that the leak is super fast. It was actually at like 28 PSI. And that was another video about Toyota maintenance. If you have a chance and you found your tire pressure low maybe in one or multiple if it's possible try to look around if you actually don't have a screw or some foreign object in the tire which is causing that slow leak thank you for watching and have a great day my friend